How are you doing guys and girls? Welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday. This is episode number six, and today's move is with two tins and a bottle. Now you can do this move with working flare. Working flare means your bottle is half full, or you can do it with exhibition flare, however you feel like you want to do it. Um, this is another one of my signature moves which I used to use on stage. Uh, again, not one of the ones I'm most renowned for, but one of the ones which I really enjoyed performing. And I did it with working flare, and I also did it with exhibition flare. Now, the move looks like this. Yeah, that's exactly how the move looks. <laughs> one more time. Okay, so it's a double snatchy move. The idea of coming up with this move was I wanted to be able to go ch -ch 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 and snatch the bottle as many times as I can. I have tried to do it with three snatches. It is really, really difficult. So today I'm gonna show you with just the two snatches. First of all, you need to hold the shakers in a tennis grab. That makes it easier for the snatches, okay? The second of all, you're gonna hold the bottle in a beer grab in your strong hand, the final snatch in hand. So the final snatch is to the side like this. So you need to get used to performing that, which is literally just throwing it up flat, bring the shaker over here and snatching it this way. The hard part is what's happening with your left hand, which is your weak hand, which is throwing the bottle up. You're snatching the bottle. And once you've snatched the bottle, you're pushing it and taking your tin away. So you're going like this. You want to take the tin away from the bottle as quickly as you can. Okay, you do have to make sure that your tin is nice and clean, so that's loud. So the bottle and the tin doesn't get stuck together, but as well, you want to make sure that you're just snatching it very quickly and taking that shaker away. So start trying to do that first, okay? And you'll see the difficult part, what will start happening is as you're taking the tin away, you'll take it up perhaps, so you'll go like this, and the bottle will fly in the wrong direction, or perhaps you'll take it down and it won't come up high enough. That's why working flare can be easier with this move because it keeps the bottle more flat. But first of all, just try and get that, that quick snatching motion done. And then once you do that, you'll see the bottle come out and you just want to do that normal snatch, which I showed you at the beginning, which was like this. So the TD double snatch, again, I've dropped it on the floor. Huh? <laughs> One more time. Okay, you do end up looking like you've got a lot of time to land this move, but I've said it once already on these, uh, this series, it is about reaction time. You need to build up your reaction speed to be able to land these moves. Breaking the move down and figuring out step by step what you need to do is the key here. You need to practice these moves to make sure that you're getting them. The more you practice them, the easier they'll become. But if you do get stuck, there is a comments box below this video where you can put your questions and let me know how you're getting on. You can also do a little Instagram story um, and tag me on Instagram, Tom Dangerous. No, that's not right. Tom Dye, a bartender. Tag me and I'll happily share these to my Instagram stories as well. I'd love to see how you're getting on with these moves. And if you like these moves, give them a thumbs up. Let me know how you're getting on and leave your comments, questions and suggestions. And until next time, I'll see you then.